Well, when you're programming, it's tough. It's tough well, to say. People have to, people have to know what the struggles are as a programmer. Ready? Hello. 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 Welcome to Couples Code. We're gonna record ourselves trying to code a puzzle or solve a puzzle using JavaScript. And it's gonna be fun because Brandon has... How many years? How many years of I don't years? know. I was a designer first, then I was a web developer. Year as a designer slash two years as a designer slash developer, which I, I can't count that because it's like CSS HTML. Right. So like okay. three years. Okay. okay, three years I would say of just like actually coding something okay. legitimately. Okay, like, so three years as a developer, and I've only spent two, two, maybe two and a half months learning JavaScript. So, we have different levels of experience trying to solve the same puzzle. Yes, the puzzle that we're trying to solve today is called Split Strings. Never and, seen it before. Yeah, at it's all. a level six, so it's not beginner, it's like advanced beginner. Yeah, uh, what is that, like novice at that point? Pretty level cool. eight is the lowest on this website, uh, so level six is like two steps up, and this is the description. Complete. Wait, wait, the you puzzle. should read it in like really like compelling way like just super dramatic I can do it complete the solution so that it splits the string into pairs of two characters if the string contains an odd number of characters then it should replace the missing second character of the final pair with an underscore underscore so this example here is you put abc as an input and you get A, B, C, underscore, mm -hmm. into an array. So you get the first element as A, B, the yep. second element as C, underscore. So I'll put the link to this um, kata in the description so you can take a look yourself and try to solve it. So let's start. How are you going to tackle this first, fam? I just know like three methods. I guess I would just create an empty array first and just use it. Okay, them. yeah, that would work. Or like use reduce. This doesn't seem too hard, but like... It doesn't seem hard at all, But no. then, I feel like I'm gonna run into issues. Wait, is it telling oh. us that we should write our own unit tests right here? Oh, wait, let's see. Usually they have their own unit tests. And you're gonna put it in here, so ABC, and then your expected outcome will be this return here, so we're just gonna return that. I'll okay. learn how to write unit tests later. Let me just run the sample test to make sure it's working. I'm gonna put like a funny message here because it's um, motivating me. I don't suck. Or do I? <laughs> uh, okay, Wasn't so. What's that random? Oh, okay. It's like a message here. I don't suck, or do I? Expected it. Uh, <laughs> great. Okay. But honestly, I almost want to say like a really shortcut way of I would do it is just attach that underscore into the string and then <laughs> develop oh, that's like so the smart. array. That's even system. easier. Is there an is even? Like math is even, math is odd or something? No. There's you have a, to use the modulus? Yeah, you have to use the modulus operator. No, no I'm jealous of your solution. Now I want to use it, but I already started. No, it. you can't. Ah. You can't. Just, just stick with what you have. You know what? It might not even work for all test cases. It might be something I'm not even thinking of. Current like, letter. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Um, oh. Maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> no, I know how to I, rethink I think, this. I think, maybe I should use a for loop. Um, I think you could split by. Let me. I'm gonna cheat and use MDM web docs real quick just to make sure. I I'm think not I can doing split that. by. Yeah, you shouldn't. You need to practice. So I don't remember anything. I have really bad memory, so I just need to make sure I can split um, with a, pa a regex pattern because that's how I would want to split it. But if it doesn't have it, oh, okay, yes, I can. What's the shortcut for the regex? Is it just slash, uh, for any letter, is it slash D? I'm gonna use a regex pattern to split it, but then I was just gonna use this, like, A to You can just use the backslash W. That, that's, that, that's any letter or number. So it doesn't really matter. Is it? Because either way, it, See, uh, I have to I'm pretty this. sure the regex 
looks for that in a string. So it doesn't, it could be, it could be anything. Uh, I'm one of those hacker coders just. Uh, maybe I, uh, uh, oh, actually better yet, I'll just match it. Every two characters, I hope that works. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's why I wasn't looking for split, I should use a match. But why? Oh, it's probably because my assert equals. I need to probably do asserts similar because they're not going to be referencing the same object. So we run that and make sure it's. There we go. I was like, man, I couldn't think for a second. But this is my sample test. So you know what? It could be wrong. Let me just double check. See, do I suck? I don't suck. Or do I suck? A, B, C, D, and that should be a D. Okay, there we go. I want to submit it against all the tests. I don't even know what match means. It just matches the regex pattern and it returns it in the array. It splits it, doesn't split it, but it matches it based on your regex pattern and it puts it into a array. So in this case, I just used dot dot because I wasn't sure if it's just going to be like characters or if it's going to be alphanumeric characters or numbers or, or even like symbols. So I was like, okay, why don't I just do a dot dot? So it should be any little match twice. It returns, the match function returns you an array. It automatically returns you an array. It's really magical. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I totally forgot about match. You know, sometimes you don't use things very often. This calls for a unicorn time. Why oh, you're doing I... exactly what I was doing. Uh, why is the value zero? Um, yeah, you're redefining the value in there over and over again in your for loop. Um, so now you assign it outside, great. Now you're splitting it, you're oh, slicing I see. it. Uh, I, I, I meant to use um, substring. Yes, lowercase. Uh, it's not that I forget. Yes, Super yes, substring would work perfect. Doge to the rescue! Oh wait, uh... Let's go ahead and test your, uh, I think you're right here, so go ahead and make, you make your, a uh, your... It worked! Oh, I see, yeah, okay, great. No, wow, that's, that's pretty good. Damn, I that's really, oops. That was pretty good, okay, so... Did it work? How do I Oh, make this no! <laughs> okay, well, so now you gotta write a unit test, so... So there are different My types of right. there are different types of unit test methods available. I'm so you're going to just do a search similar, and then you're going to test it to make sure it's they would generate the the output of your function, place it in this assertion, and then it will test your assertion against your output. So so it yeah well your test case works, but now you got to run it through all of the tests. Yeah, for loop is a lot of work on my fingers, for loop so I don't do use everything loops, except when it but, comes to objects. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. It actually wasn't hard at all. I wouldn't even call it a level About six. six. Yeah. I'll call it a level seven. If you knew the match method, then you could categorize it as a, a harder problem if you wanted to really condense the code. But you, a beginner can solve this. Yeah, I think that was definitely like a kata seven. Even eight, even. It's really simple. Okay. Oh. Try this problem out yourself, it's and if you want to learn how to code, then follow along with us. Heck yeah, no, that's, thanks for watching. That's Bye. Really good.